afternoon, everybody. We have a muggy 48 hours ahead. You're definitely going to feel that, along with the threat, at least, for some tropical downpours. There's still some questions as to whether they'll make it this far north, but certainly the threat is there. Once we get through that weather, we have a really nice holiday weekend to enjoy coming up. You're going to hear about that over the next couple of days. It's been a cloudy, muggy day out there today. Temperature right now 73 degrees with dew points in the low 60s and an east to northeast wind off the water. That has kept those clouds intact. It has kept the temperatures on the cool side across most of eastern New England as well. In fact, Providence right now, 69 degrees. So it's been a coolish day out there, but still muggy. Uh, it's also been cooling down across the country. We had that big heat wave we've been talking about over the last month or so across most of the Midwest. Uh, Kansas City and Chicago were both over 100 degrees last week. They're down to the upper 70s to around 80 now, so big differences there. We've also had a lot of headlines in the tropics, which have been heating up. And we have our first major hurricane of the season in Franklin. Winds right now at 145 miles per hour. If you're tracking at home, 27.8 north, 71 west, 937 millibars. That is slowly meandering off to the north and will continue that jog and then start to move its way uh, up towards uh, the northern Atlantic over the next couple of days. We also have Tropical Storm uh, Idalia, which is uh, right now has winds at 65 miles per hour, 20.8 north, 85.2 west, 990 millibars, and winds of the north at 7 miles per hour. Now, if you're watching this forecast later on in the day, you'll probably see these winds come up to hurricane strength. And Idalia is going to be moving across uh, Florida here over the next 24 to 48 hours. And it's going to kind of lurk off the southeastern coastline. I don't think it's ever going to directly get to New England by chance. However, uh, some of the tropical showers, or at least the moisture, is going to get kind of funneled up towards southern New England really over the next day or two. And that's what we're going to be watching. So you can see, really, here's Franklin. You can really see those storms taking shape well to our south. And we've got high pressure off to our north. That's going to be protecting us and really kicking all this activity off the coastline over the next several days. However, in between, we have a stalled out front, a little bit of a low pressure system that is formed along that front uh, on southeast of Virginia. And so that will uh, kind of give us a squeeze play over the next 24 to 48 hours. And all of this moisture that you see right now down towards the Delmarva and parts of Virginia along with that area of low pressure is gonna to try to make a run towards southern New England. They see some of it lurking off to our, our south and some of this is gonna to try to push northward as we go through today, especially Tuesday, Tuesday night. Whether it ever gets here is still questionable, but I think the threat definitely is there. You're gonna see it tomorrow just to the south of our shoreline and again, tomorrow night, some of that's going to try to make its way at least towards southeastern New England. So we'll have to watch. The threat is there for maybe two to three inches of rain if uh, all of this does get into our area. Some of the models this afternoon have kind of backed off a little bit. We'll have to see if that's just a wobble or a trend, and we'll keep in mind over the next uh, day or two. So as far as tonight goes, isolated showers definitely possible, muggy. Uh, you know, it's just going to be kind of a humid night, cloudy for sure and a uh, sunset around 7.26 p.m. So we've gotten earlier than 7.30 now. Next four days, again, uh, any of those showers we had will linger into Tuesday morning. And then really it's Tuesday night into Wednesday. I think that's the best chance for the heaviest downpours here. But once those downpours move through, we've got some really nice weather to look forward to starting on Thursday and really lasting right on into the holiday weekend.